upon the world. And, and the book of Mormon. With Charlie. And Abby. And, and friends. Hi friends. Welcome back to the Book of Mormon Lab. Before we read the scripture from Moroni, I want you to pay attention and see if you can figure out the rest of this scripture. You have heard it hundreds of times. Let's see if you were paying attention. Charlie, can you read the scripture for us in the Liahona? Sure, Mom. It says, O God, the eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat in the remembrance of the body of thy Son, and witness unto thee, O God, the eternal Father. Thanks, Charlie. This is a separate prayer. Do you know what comes next? Water. Well, the water is what they're praying for, but the what's bread. the next? Well, the bread is first, and then the water. But then it says in the prayer that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy Son, and always remember him and keep his commandments, which he hath given them, that they may always have his spirit to be with them. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then they say, Amen. These are the promises or covenants we have made at baptism. If you want to learn more about baptism, watch one of these videos about our baptism covenants. There's also a link below. Today I want to talk to you about four. Everybody put four fingers up. Four verbs or action words of the sacred prayer that Charlie just read. They are one, bless, two, sanctify, three, remember, and fourth, witness. So the first verb is bless. Let's sign it with our hands. We're gonna make two fists like this. And keep your thumbs on the outside and we're gonna kind of touch right here by our mouth and we're gonna pull them down right in front of us. Bless, ready, bless. Let's do it together, bless. When we eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, what do we say in our prayer? What do we say, Abby, when we pray? That's yummy. <laughs> That'll be yummy. Uh, nourish and strengthen our body. Yes, we bless to nourish our bodies and to strengthen us. We want our physical bodies to be healthy and strong. During the sacrament prayer, the priests pray that the bread will be blessed. I think this means to strengthen us spiritually. And that leads us to verb number two, sanctify. Let's sign it. To sign sanctify, we need two fists like this. And we're gonna put our thumbs on the inside and then we're gonna turn them. So inside out, inside out. And then you're going to go like that, like you're wiping it away. So sanctify like that. Good job. Do you know what the word sanctify means? Well, to sanctify, it means to cleanse or to clean. In the prayer, it says to bless and sanctify the bread. This means as we partake or eat the bread, it is cleansing us. We are being clean from our sins because of the atonement of Jesus Christ. Now, the third verb is to remember. Let's sign it. We're going to get our fists again. Lots of fists in these signs. We're going to touch kind of up here in our head where brain is to remember. And then we're going to touch our thumb here. So it's going to be remember. Can you do that? Remember. Good job. When we eat the bread, we are remembering the body of Jesus Christ that he died for us. We are remembering his sacrifice for us, his atonement, so that we can be forgiven and clean again. While the deacons like Charlie passes the sacrament, we have time to remember Jesus and all that he has done for us but we don't need to wait to remember until Sunday. We covenanted or promised to remember him okay. always. The fourth and last verb is witness. Let's sign it. We're gonna take our finger on the right by our mouth and then we're going to come and make a flat hand. So you're gonna to point to your mouth and come down and you're gonna hit it twice. Witness, you got that? Hit it twice like that. Good job, witness. Great. Okay. To witness to Heavenly Father means that we're saying we will keep our covenants. We will remember him. We will keep his commandments, take his name upon us and endure to the end. Like saying, I will. Now, after the bread is passed, the priests offer another prayer over the water. This prayer is almost exactly the same, except for a few parts. Let's use our sacrament minders and see if we can spot the difference. You can get a copy by going to mtcforkids.com. We're going to the part where it has the blessing on the bread. And then we have the blessing on the water. And if you turn the page, it will say what is the same or what is different. So we're going to be right here in our sacrament book. If you have yours, you can go grab it. 
And let's see what is different. Can you see the difference? Let's get our dry eraser marker and let's underline the words that are the same. Actually, let's just circle the words that are different. For sure we know the water and the bread's going to be different, right? Good job. Well, where it says who partake and who drink of it. So the picture of the person drinking and then partake of it because we don't drink the bread, we partake of it, we eat it. Good yeah. job. Now let's experiment upon the words in the Book of Mormon. If you would like to try this experiment at home, you will need a piece of paper like this, some markers and a black Sharpie, cups of water or a jar. And we also need one more thing. Let's see if it's in the Liahona. Abby, can you see what's inside? Hey mom. Ooh, it's a baggie so <laughs> so we have little small Ziploc bags. So everybody take a piece of paper. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So let's put the water to the side for just a minute. And we are going to take a Sharpie. So we're gonna take our piece of paper, make sure it's just a hair smaller than our bag because we're gonna put it in the bag. And we're going to draw a picture of ourselves. So we're just doing kind of like you would see a gingerbread man. So we're just gonna make arms and it doesn't need to be fancy, legs, and then another arm over here. That's all we need to do. So now that we have our person, we're going to draw in some of the things that we might do wrong during the week. So we're gonna color our person in with different things that we might sin or make mistakes with that we need to repent of. So we just color in any parts. I'm gonna go ahead and put a face on here just for fun. This is purple. And then we're just gonna color in our person. And maybe some things are we, we're not fully honest with our parents. So maybe they said, Charlie, did you break the cup? And you're like afraid that you'll get in trouble. So you choose to lie. Is wow. that a good choice? Wait, you nope. just said I'm supposed to lie? No, I'm just giving an example. So maybe you were angry with your brother or sister this week and contentions of the devil. We don't want to fight with our siblings, so that would be a sin. So we're going to color that in. Now you can see why it's so important to have the sacrament so we can be cleansed from the sins, the things we make that are wrong. Probably should have put a sad face because we don't feel good when we make wrong choices. Let's put some hair. We go to church to take the sacrament so that we can repent and be forgiven of our sins and be cleansed so we could get our body that was clean before we got all these colors on them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our markers away. We're going to put our paper inside the Ziploc bag, just like this. It looks pretty clean to me. And we're going to zip it up. Now that we have it zipped up, we need to take a Sharpie and we're going to just go on the outside. So we're gonna draw the person again, but only the outside. So only the black part. And we're going to draw it on the outside. So you should have something like this. So the outside should have the black line as well as your inside had the black line. So you just made a copy. You just traced your person. So this is going to represent us. Now, as Charlie finishes, we're going to bring our water back here. And I'm gonna bring you my water here. We're gonna do it to ourselves so Charlie and Abby can see what happens. And then we'll turn it around so you can see the magic. Let's pretend that the water represents, the water from the sacrament represents the bread and water, which is the atonement of who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And that this is us representing the things that we did wrong during the week. Everybody show them your person so they can see. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, now let's see what happens when we go to church and take the sacrament and ask God to forgive us. But I want you guys not to look down here, but you're gonna look from the top. So if you have to push the cup closer to you so you can see, do that, okay? <laughs> Ready, go. Oh my gosh, I look! <laughs> what? All the colors just stick Isn't that amazing? And pull it out, oh, wait. do it again. Mommy, I... Look from the top, wait, did you what? see it? <laughs> it's like magic. Okay, let's turn it around and show our friends. And we're going to go straight down. <gasps> do you see what happened? It disappeared. Okay, that worked, ready? Let's do that again. We're going to put our person inside the water. And our sins are washed away. Every week we get 
almost like we're baptized again. We get to repent and be forgiven of our sins. Okay, Abby, let's try yours in here so they can see yours. So this is Abby's. Let's see what happens to Abby. <gasps> the same thing. All right, now we have Charlie. Let's see what happens to Charlie. <gasps> His sins are washed away. That was pretty neat. I know that as we go to church every week and humbly pray and ask God to forgive us, then take the bread and water during the sacrament, God will bless and sanctify us. We can be clean again, just like we were baptized in water, receive the Holy Ghost. I am so grateful for Jesus that he loved me enough to come to earth and carry out our Heavenly Father's plan. I know that we will make mistakes as we try to follow Jesus, but we can become like him as we repent and try again. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ, trying and repenting. As we do, we'll become like Jesus and to be able to live with our heavenly parents again. This Sunday, I challenge you to fold your arms even after the prayers are said during the sacrament and think or remember Jesus and the four verbs of the sacrament prayer. Maybe you can even quietly sign the words in your lap as you hear them to help you remember what you learned today. I know Heavenly Father loves you and that because of Jesus Christ, you can be clean again. Now, before we go, make sure to write this week's scripture in your gold plates and remember to read your scriptures every day. You will learn about Jesus' atonement and how the sacrament can bless your life. Thank you for joining us as we experiment upon the words in the Book of Mormon. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you. Bye, Bye my friends. friends. Before you go, support our channel by joining our scripture club and get fun printables. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, click subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we post our next video. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. See us soon. Bye.